Hello everyone and welcome back to BSU YouTube channel. Let's talk about plant life cycle today. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about pollination, fertilization and seed dispersal. Pollination, how flower flowering plants reproduce by pollination, fertilization, how fruit and seeds production takes place, seed dispersal, how seeds are dispersed. Before we start, let's talk about the important parts of a flower. Stigma, style, ovary that contains ovules are the female part of the flower called carpel. Whereas anther, filament are called stamen that are the male part of a flower. Now let's have a look at life cycle of flowering plant. When the pollen is carried by insect or blown by the wind from one flower to another, this process is called pollination. Pollination takes two forms, self-pollination and cross-pollination. Self-pollination occurs when the pollen from the anther is deposited on the stigma of the same flower or another flower on the same plant. Pollen reaches the new flower or the same flower and travels to the ovary where it fertilizes egg cell, ovule to make seeds. Some of the seeds will grow into new plants. All fruits come from flowers, but not all flowers are fruit. A fruit is a mature, ripened ovary part of the flower that usually contains seeds. Let's have a look at self-pollination. In self-pollination, the pollens are transferred from the anther to the stigma of the same flower or anther of flower of the same plant. In cross-pollination, the transfer of polar grains from anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower of the same kind. After the pollination, fertilization takes place. Each pollen grain, when drops on the stigma, up grows into a pollen tube that reaches down to the ovule. One pollen tube reaches the ovule where a nucleus of male cell joins with the nucleus of the female cell. Now after fertilization, what happens to the flower? The petals wither off, ovary begins to swell, petals drop, ovules turn into seed and the ovary keeps swelling until it becomes a mature ripened fruit. Look at the life cycle of the pomegranate plant. First, the seed is dispersed and if the conditions are favorable, the seed turns into an embryo. Then, becoming a young plant, growing into a bigger one. After that, the plant grows flower. As you can see, this plant have brightly colored flowers that are pollinated by insects. So after the pollination takes place, the flower is fertilized, the fruit starts to grow. As you can see, the flowers have turned into fruits. Now let's talk about seed dispersal. What is seed dispersal? Seed dispersal is when the seed is moved away from the parent plant. Seed dispersal takes place by wind, by animal, explosion or water. Let's have a look. Fruits and their seed dispersal. Some fruits disperse their seed through water. Fruits like coconut, water lily and mangrove disperse their seed through water. Seed dispersal through wind. Dandelion and maple are dispersed through wind eaten by animals. Some fruits are eaten by animals like guava, strawberries and figs. Fruits like acorns are sometimes buried by little squirrels that grow into a new plant. Dispersal by animals fur. Fruits like dragon fruit, clover and burdock are dispersed by animal fur because these fruits have hooks on their hooks on them. Explosion. 
Now some fruits eject their seeds. As the seeds fa fall away from the parent plant, that is in geranium and an okra plant. So this is all about life cycle of a flowering plant. Hope you like the video. Goodbye.